Hi, I'm Haley Watson, and you're watching the Roadrunner Spotlight. Today, I'm joined by Adam Hunt. How are you? How are you? I'm great. Good. And uh, so, now there's something very exciting that we have news. You qualified for the Penn Relays. So, why don't you tell us why it's so difficult to qualify for this particular event? Um, Penn Relays accepts um, only uh, 40 discus throwers from every Division One school around here. Any uh, top discus thrower, thrower. I mean, it's a lot harder as a thrower because they only take a certain amount of entries. As a runner, they kind of take everybody. So it's much harder to qualify as a thrower. So that makes this a crazy achievement for mm -hmm. you here. Yeah. So uh, obviously, it takes a lot of training to achieve mm -hmm. this. So uh, what, is you, what does it look like a typical day, week for you in training? Um, for Well, we start Monday. We drill Monday, which is kind of two hours of drilling, and then we lift heavy weights, which is uh, very mentally draining. In our winter sessions, we're uh, lifting for like two and a half hours. Like I've been there from two to eight uh, lifting, and it's kind of mentally draining. Wow. Um, picking, like squatting like 10 pounds off your maximum for two sets of seven, two sets of five, two sets of three. I mean, it's, uh, I mean really, I sit there and just kind of have to hype myself up, or that bar is going to take me out. Yeah, <laughs> just exhausting <laughs> stuff yeah. there. Mm -hmm. But um, obviously that, you know, adds up to something that mm -hmm. made you qualify yeah. for this. So that's great. Mm -hmm. Dedication pays off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, so I'm sure you also qualified because of the record that you broke, 38-year-old mm -hmm. record you mm -hmm. broke for discus. And you're also in the lead by 20 feet in the whole nation for this category. Mm -hmm. So I bet your coaches are proud of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How have they helped you to reach this goal? Um, Joe's a very dedicated coach. He gives us, he stays up all night writing our programs. Um, he's kind of runs all over the school doing his full-time work and helping his athletes uh, trying to be the best that they can be. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he really enjoys coaching mm -hmm. you as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, your team itself is mm -hmm. ranked number one in the nation. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure you had to accomplish it somehow. Mm -hmm. Is there a lot of support within the team? Um, yeah, it's coming. Uh, the throwers and the runners kind of don't commingle, but um, coming from the Thorough side, I've had a lot of help from an unlikely teammate as Emily Hilt. Um, she's helped me a lot and kind of driven me, which if I came into the season and said, hey, she's going to be the one pushing me, I uh, wouldn't have said. Never would have expected it. <laughs> well, I'm sure it's a lot easier mm -hmm. to get through that draining work mm -hmm. if there's somebody yeah. with you, you know, who's also mm -hmm. suffering. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's all for the best. Mm -hmm. And um, so you had some experience. You placed first at the Delaware Classic. Mm -hmm. So is that how's that experience going to help you now going into the Penn Relays? Um, getting a win is a... Uh, uh, kind of just a confidence booster. Um, I know I'm not going to be the top seeded guy where most of these meets I have been. Kind of just going to go in and take it as a learning experience. Kind of stay cool, calm, and collective. And so you actually have been to the Penn Relays before, mm -hmm. so in your senior year, right? Yeah. And so what's it like, you know, walking in? That kind of crazy feeling. Um, well, at the Discus Stadium, it's not at Franklin Field. It's kind of a ways down by the big field right off the uh, I-76. But, I mean... There's a bit at the discus circle. You got stands around you, and then it's just like a ten foot drop, and then you got this big discus circle. Um, so I mean, it's kind of sitting down there, and you walk in, it's kind of overwhelming because you got, you know, I mean, when I'm going to be you got college coaches, you're going to have loved ones, everyone's parents, and just spectators who love the sport. Um, it's kind of a much harder, it's a much different uh, to kind of first time or an inexperienced thrower because it is. I mean, you got the Poles are really tight right to the sector. It's not wide. So if you throw an inch out of bounds, your pole's hitting, your disc is hitting the pole, and that's going to be rattling to somebody. But, I mean, you kind of got to take it as a, I'm in my high school throwing cage. I'm in my throwing cage. I feel at home. I mean, you got to take it like just a normal throw. You can't let anything overwhelm you. All right. Well, I'm glad you have a game plan for it. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here on the show today. Thank you. All right. Uh, follow us on social media at RCGC Athletics. Thank you to our sponsors, Playmore Sports South Jersey. And uh, we'll see you next time.